So will I get my clothes on today? Will I get my clothes on today? We'll see. Today, you are going to see a day in the life of a mother of six. My name is Simone Roberts, and we are thankfully true. So, we have six children. We have a 19 year old adult child who's flown the nest, and we have a seven year old daughter. We have a six year old son. We have a four year old son, a two year old son, and a five week year old son. So we're going to try and take you around today and show you what a typical day, no, it's not a typical day, it's just one of the days in our life because as you know as a family, not every day is the same. There's always something new, something new, something fresh. So we're going to try and show you how we operate, how we go about our day and more about the energy than time. We don't really have strict times. It changes with seasons, it changes with what we're up to. So it's more about the energy that we carry around all day and what we do with that energy. Isn't that right, Hezekiah? Isn't that right? So I'd usually start the day off with filming this big lad. And he'll feed about four times, back to back, because he sleeps so well at night. He sleeps from half eight in the evening until... 2.30, 3 o'clock, sometimes 3.30 in the morning and then he will have um, one breast then, one feed, one full feed and then he'll go back to sleep until about 7, 8 o'clock and then he'll feed again back to back. So I make a flask of tea at night and this one today I've, I have blueberry and blackcurrant with a, a bit of ginger root in it and two cloves. And that will stay hot all night if I keep the lid on. So I've always got a hot cup of tea at hand. And yeah, so I have a cup of tea after I've fed him and then I go back to sleep during the night. And he's changed and now we're ready for the day. If you're wondering where we got this footless baby grow from, they're actually M&S baby grows. And I just cut the feet makes it so much easier and they last longer and his feet are free get your little feet out and they're free so as you can see the heels there at the back and they're lasting a lot longer because we've put it you want some more so after i've finished feeding the marathon feed for this boy then we'll probably i'll try and get a shower try um, depending on the energy and the time and how long the other children have been up. Sometimes I'll just go down how I am and start preparing breakfast. But we'll see. We'll see what today brings. The, the other children are in their playroom. So we'll show you them in a second. And I made them some lime water this morning so that they have a hot drink. Sometimes we have they have apple cider vinegar tea or... A bit of ginger tea so today they have lime fresh lime in hot water and then we'll go and have breakfast and Mr Roberts is not sitting next to me because he's filming hi Mr Roberts hi <laughs> My name is Kenzie and I'm four. You 
watering your plants. So, we'll see if I get dressed today. Let's see. Um, I will, but you know, you just have to go with the day. Not get too stressed about times. As long as everyone's had a drink, I'm happy. So, um, as you saw before, they had lime tea, and I've had a cup of tea. So as long as everyone's had a drink, then we don't have to worry too much. We can take our time and go downstairs. The children are happy playing with their jigsaws and Lego. Which actually, he's like, can you tidy up please? If you get tidied now, then by the time I finish feeding Hezekiah, we can all go downstairs. Is that okay? Is that what you're doing good? Terrell's already started. So, Niall, are you dressed? Niall's dressed, reluctantly. He doesn't want to be on the film right now, but I'm sure he will come on throughout the day. Hezekiah, do you have something to say? Apart from give me my milk. <laughs> right, let's go and feed him. So when I'm in bed, sometimes I think about what outfit I want to wear. I don't necessarily get it out the night before and it's not and I always try and think of something that either doesn't need ironing or that I can iron quite quickly. But since having the youngest, I haven't been doing any weekly or daily ironing. After I've finished taking clothes from outside, I usually give them a quick once over with the iron. I haven't been doing that lately, so I try and find things that don't need ironing or that I've ironed already. So I like to accent my outfits with um, these homemade chokers that I make. And I make them out of surplus African material and broken accessories that are given to me from family and friends that they don't know what to do with them, so I don't waste them. I have zero waste in this house. Well, we try, we're on a journey. And that, you know, accents my outfit quite nicely. and. I make a few, I just choose different ones depending on what I'm wearing. And when people say to me, how do you always look so glamorous? That's why, because I just accessorize. I'm not doing nothing special. I don't wear makeup. And when I finish doing my hair, which I usually do first, I just wrap this around it so that when I'm getting dressed, I don't mess it up. And I'm ready to start the day. Okay, so the children have been so patient this morning, I've just had to feed Hezekiah again. Um, he's down now, sleeping, and um, he wasn't sleeping completely when I put him down, but at least I know he can self-soothe, because that's what we train our babies to do, self-soothe so they can get to sleep on their own, and they don't always need to be held to, to relax, basically. He's not crying or anything, but he was awake, a bit just moving around. So hopefully he's asleep now. Children have been so patient, so I'm now going to get steaming ahead with breakfast. I think I'll do porridge, oat porridge, and some smoothies. So we like to have our, and I'm sure non-vegan families do too, but um, we like to have smoothies. Um, I like to freeze bananas so they're nice and cold and solid. I always find frozen bananas make better smoothies anyway. 
um, I forgot to take this out a little bit a while before I was ready to use it so I could actually get the bananas out but here goes so bananas let them come in out any more any more takers hi guys you brought your cups down okay put them down and then you can get the table out and get a book and sit around the table if you're going to be quiet. Yeah? I want to go on the Okay. You should make it a bit thicker than this, but it's a bit runny today. That's fine. Okay, bubbling up a bit. I usually also make dinner whilst I'm making breakfast. I know it sounds crazy, but I like to do those things at the same time. So I know if I've got dinner sorted, then that's the biggest pressure of the day done. But I have prepared already. We've got some rice and peas that I've defrosted and some chickpeas and butter beans that I've defrosted as well. So have those for dinner today so that takes off the cooking edge all I have to do is top up the salad Hezekiah's just waking up now so I'm going to go upstairs, give him another feed, change him and get him ready for us to go for a walk to the fields or a bike ride or something to do with fresh air. These guys are going to, what are you going to do? They're going to tidy up for us and they'll put all the stuff in the sink and I'll wash up later when I come back down. See you in a bit. Show what you've picked out. Okay. Um, a nappy. Mm -hmm. um, I've got his wipes. Biodegradable wipes. Biodegradable and nappy. And his socks. Uh, his trousers. And his cap. And this is where all the mess happens, isn't it? Look. They've already. got one on there already. So let's turn that over actually. Do we have another bit? Yeah, that's it. Turn it over. Have to wash that again already. And what does biodegradable mean, Roxy? Um, it means that they turn back into soil after a few days. Well done. Goes back to the earth. Um, we do usually... Yeah, we usually... Look, he's given me a medal. So <laughs> this is part of my outfit now. <laughs> yeah, you can wipe it as well, Hezekiah. Are you ready? <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Hezekiah. Is he wiping his sick? He's laughing. He thinks it's a joke. Is that a picture? <laughs> it's not funny, boy. I like to give medals because um, it shows how much I love them.
just fed Mr. Hezekiah. I know he's going to want the other breast. So whilst he's getting himself together and getting his chops ready for the next breast, I'm doing a bit of work actually with the motherhood, the motherhood group. You follow them on Instagram. Go and check them out, the motherhood group. Um, we've been to a few of their meetups and we've had such fun. Roxy just said she remembers going to Coventry to meet them all. And they're, they're based um, Coventry and London actually. And they do lots of conferences and things like that. So I'm just doing, we're doing a, their takeover stories day to day. So I'm sending Sandra lots of clips of our morning so far so she can put them up on their Instagram stories. So if you want to go and look at that, go over to their page, The Motherhood Group and check them out and read the bio as well so you can see what they're doing that explains it a little bit better than I did but I'm in mode, I'm in work mode Gonna have fun at the fields. Yeah. Good boy. I know you're feeling a bit tired, but when you get there, you'll be happy, okay? A marksman is what I'm trained to be. I always hit the target and I aim to please. Author, I offer the lost souls gospel like a warrior firing ammunition off a crossbow. The mariachi of verbal archery launching star sea darts from a guitar string into your thought stream. Instantly causing harmony and ultimately growing into a dharma tree. A fearful mind is self-sabotaged. True nature is absent, trapped in a mirage, crowded by a collage of thought. The mind is clouded. A fabric of confusion leaving it. Oh. Very juicy. So this is our rose hip bush abbot. Guys, did you ask the rose hip bush before you pick them? What did it say? Yes. Thank Good. you. <laughs> so we always have to ask the rose hip bush. Ask the spirits of the rose hip bush if we can pick their beautiful rose hips. Did you know that rose hips have 20 times the vitamin C of a citrus fruit? You okay, Niall? We have a rose hip syrup video on our channel, so go and look at that actually. It's very good for the winter months. Nice boost and also natural medicine. In darkness, in this condition, ignorance grows like diminishes or mental imprisonment is imposed. It is your fate to fail to escape the jail until you allow the light to penetrate the veil. We're all capable of ending the curse, though it seems inescapable, it can be reversed, but first an individual must be willing to sit still in order to coax the mind from its milling, clearly revealing a feeling that's fulfilling, one of the many thrilling aspects of meditation through proper practice and patience, the mind becomes vacant, ultimately allowing your true nature to reawaken. A marksman is what I'm trained to be I always hit the target and I aim to please Author, I offer the lost souls gospel Like a warrior firing ammunition off a crossbow There you go, Daddy Oh, thank you Boy Thank you So beautiful being out here in the countryside Where we live is right on the edge of Birmingham So our road is literally the last road before the countryside and the countryside is actually another area of the West Midlands. So we are so blessed to have this beautiful countryside, literally as our back garden. So we use it as such. We try not to overcomplicate coming out here. We just get up and go. And we get out here, we try and come out once a day, weather permitted. But um, if, it, if it's not great weather, we just probably go for a quick walk and do it that way and just take in the fresh air. But this is everyday therapy. It's not, oh, I need more of nature, more of fresh air. When you're already feeling low, we try and incorporate it into daily routine so that we're always getting constant fresh air. The children can run around wild, pick berries, and I can breathe in. 
some good ass prana. just to update you so now the children are having um, kind of a nap but relaxation time so what we like to do is give the children some what we call reduced activity so at some point in the day they've got to go in one room and relax it's usually their bedroom and that usually works best so they go in their bedroom they relax um, I put on 432 Hertz music some nice relaxing sounds um, sometimes ocean music and we just play it loud you probably can hear it and they relax sometimes we don't play that music because we like them to know how to relax without it but today because they're a little bit off because we've been filming and working at the same time today and um, both of us so um, it's been a bit of an imbalance for them but we're rolling with it and they're lying down now and I've put the baby in the room as well so for the first time the baby's having a nap in their room but in the, his Moses basket Hezekiah sorry so Hezekiah's having a nap in their room I have just put on a load of washing that I didn't get to do this morning because we're also filming for the motherhood group and I'm also about to wash up now because I didn't do the breakfast washing up so I'm going to wash up now dinner's prepared the washing's on and then I'm going to have a bath. Yes, I'm going to have a candlelit bath and I'm going to have a smoothie in a champagne glass as well because that's how I look after myself on a busy day. So I'll catch you after my bath as well. I've got my head tie on now. So I'll catch you after my bath when I've finished that. So I've had my bath, feel really fresh and I had a nice relaxing time. So now it's on to the dinner and we have rice and peas, like a stewed kidney beans, no stewed butter beans and chickpeas with lentils and we also have a salad, let's not forget the salad, we have a salad of spring greens, sweet corn, onions and cucumber. So that's what's for dinner. Oh yeah, and a few pieces of pumpkin. I also like to drain the pumpkin juice as well, make a drink with that. I did put some in the rice to help heat it up, but I don't, I don't waste anything. I pour one juice into another so the flavour counts. So we've got a few pieces of pumpkin. Oh, and some um, sweet potatoes which are roasted nicely in the oven. So we'll have some baked sweet potatoes too. So I'll show you when I've dished. So I like to cook early in the day. So I cook in the morning with breakfast usually. So we had some food that I had frozen from Sunday. And, because I like to cook in big batches as well sometimes. And so I've defrosted that food for today. But usually I would cook in the morning as I'm about to do breakfast. So I'll get the dinner started, then do breakfast, then finish off the dinner. And I probably only have to do a little bit to go with it by the time we're ready to eat dinner. I like to get the hardest bit, the most kind of, I don't know if you call it stressful, but the, the, you know, the bit that you really need to or want to get right and make sure that you're eating well. Um, 
do early on in the day. We eat early in the day too. So between, we don't really have strict times, but between 12 and half three, four, we kind of have our dinner, our main meal. So it depends on what's gone on the night before, that morning, as to what time we actually have it. But during that time, we tend to eat earlier on in the day, our main meal, and then have a top up evening snack in the evening. And I find that helps with not having to do too much too late. So by the time you get to um, the evening in a big family, as a parent, as a mother, you do feel tired. So you, I didn't want to do those hard bits at the end of the day, so we've swapped it around. And I'll see you when we dish the food. encourage them to tidy up after every meal. They wipe the tables and benches and chairs and they sweep the floor. This is their contribution to the wonderful meal that they've just had and this is how they show their appreciation to, for that and for us and also how they become valuable members of our family, of our team because we all work together don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And this instills in them as well that they are to help towards the bigger picture. So I'll let them get on with that and move out of the way. I've asked the children what they'd like to do this afternoon. Um, Kenzie and Niall were having a water fight, but Roxy and sorry, Niall and Terrell. These two are the same. Roxy and Kenzie have asked to do what some work. So they've chosen their the pages the and we copy them Thanks the we copy them for them with the photocopier once they've chosen a page and then we put it on a clipboard oh. and then they have these pockets of focus where they focus and we get them to help each other but we do help them out sometimes as well if they ask us. So let's move this. Have you got Mama, space there, Tara? Mama, I've got a cake. Mama, I've got a cake. Evening snack time now. What are you having? Quickly. What do you have? Grapes, rice. apple, rice cake, and nuts. Peanut butter on the rice cakes too. I Quick don't. evening yum, snack. Yum yum. Yum yum. Oh, Say thank you. Thank you. Evening snacks on the go. Now we've got Mr. Hezekiah to go and get ready for bed. Did you get you ready for bed? Yeah, so while these lot are eating an evening snack, I'll go and get Hezekiah ready for bed. Then they can all have a hold and a story with him, and then we'll take it from there, because it is more or less bedtime for them too. So let's go. Okay, 
Just a quick update, Kenzie and Terrell are now in the shower. They're having their evening wash. Hezekiah has had his wash. He's all nice and fresh now, aren't you Hezekiah? Hmm? He requires a lot of attention at this time in the evening. So I'm constantly feeding back to back and he's in my arms. There's no point in putting him down. But it's fine because I also know that once he goes down this evening, he's down until about two, three o'clock in the morning. So I'm quite happy to feed back to back for two hours or an hour. So yeah, at this time it's quite intense for Hezekiah. So once Kenzie and Terrell have finished their shower, Roxy will go in and Niall will have his wash as well. And then we will get ready for like a wind down night time. Maybe stories, maybe Mr. Roberts will play the guitar. We'll see, but I'll see you in a bit. This is when I start to wind down and usually Mr. Roberts takes over but with the other children because work with I'm feeding this one back to back and he takes a lot of energy at this time, he's back to back and then he'll sleep for a long time anyway so I'm glad about that. So sorry to Rao, you're, you're still reading aren't you? So I'm feeling tired now. This is when I start feeling it for the evening, so I need to hurry up and get um, Niall and Roxy through the wash system so it's not too long. And we can all relax together for a bit before bed. Daddy, help me. So now I, I've just put Hezekiah down to sleep, children just read him some stories and now I want to go to sleep but mummy's got things to do, let's go and see what I need to do. I think it's things along the lines of washing but I'm not going to overdo it, it's been a long day and we've recorded two separate videos today so I'm not going to push too much. I think I'll leave the wash until tomorrow and just make sure generally the house is tidy, ready for tomorrow's day. And that's it. Yes, please. Good night. Stay in your beds, you only get out for the toilet, okay? Okay, good night.